Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Dee, aka The Messy Perfectionist, and on this channel I am taking you guys along with me on all of my artsy crafty adventures. This video is part two of a two-part video regarding the Derwent Inktense pencils and my very first unveiling and experience of them all. If you missed part one and you would like to see all of the colors individually swatched out and you can see the names on the pencils, etc., I'll go ahead and put a card up above and you can click that and then join us in a little bit. But with that said, I hope you guys do enjoy this part of the video where we get to activate all of the pencils and see the final outcome. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you soon. my cup of water and my brushes and this is the very first time I'm using this and we are going to explore it together I am nervous if I <laughs> to be honest let's see okay this is a channel for learning so we'll see we're learning together Ooh, look at that See, I was wondering if it would spread more, you know, like watercolor will spread. It kind of stays still. Let's try a different brush. Oh, there it goes. Maybe I just didn't have enough water on there. Interesting. I'm just going to keep going in. I want to see. Oh, wow. It it does look like marker almost, doesn't it? So the first thing I'm also noticing is you have a lot more control over this at least for me and my minimal experience with watercolor pencils, I feel like I have a lot more control over this and it's obviously highly pigmented. There we go, you can fade it out. I was trying to see how that would go. Like, it's kind of why I wanted to leave these blank on that side. I didn't want to fill the whole thing because I wanted to see the level of control over it. Oh, and you can kind of see the pigment change a little bit. So I don't know if you guys noticed while I was swatching these, but I had heard that the color on the barrel was pretty close to the pencil color. And I found that to be true with some of them. And then others it was way off, I felt like. You guys notice that? It's kind of pretty, huh? Wow, look at that one change. You can see that's why I kind of wanted to put the um, pencil above the number as well. Because I like to have, because obviously you can just use these as pencils too. You don't have to activate them with water, but I don't know why you would use these over um, a regular pencil like Prismacolor or something. I suppose if it's the only thing you have, then you can just use it as a pencil or the intended ink tense use. So these swatch cards are, um, I bought like a cardstock type paper that you can use in your printer. 
And these swatch cards came in a downloadable PDF pack from Sarah Renee Clark's website. Uh, she had several different swatches and rather than making my own, I just, they were like $4 and change to get tons of swatch cards, different sizes and such. Oh, that's a really pretty color. Look at that one. Kind of like a burnt rust color. There's some movement. Now I bought a um, water pen where you fill the water up and you can um, use that for your watercolor pencils or these. And for the life of me, I do not know where I put them, put it. So I'm just going in with my brush. From what I understand, you have a lot more control with the water pen. They are very, very pigmented, huh? It'll be interesting to see um, layering over these as well. Okay, so I feel like I have a better feel as I'm doing these as we're going along. You can see that there's still a lot of pigment on the brush. See that? So you could almost use it like a paint and use like this as a palette. Like if you put some down and then used that to, you know, use somewhere else. I kind of like swatching. But my goodness, I feel like this took forever. thing I'm kind of noticing and I noticed this with dry and I'm sure you guys saw it too is I feel like a lot of these are very 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 close in color I mean like these two and I was double checking making sure I was picking up the right pencil to the right number I mean you can see it dry too these look look identical to me do you see a difference I don't know mm, that one changed a lot look at that purple wow that one looks really different from its dry counterpart that is a really pretty color That's a pretty color. So yeah, some of them really change a lot from their, their dry counterpart, as you can see. It's interesting. I can see where this could be a lot of fun to use because I um, 
I have used mineral spirits on my pencils for different pieces to blend out to give it kind of more of a painting type feeling. Oh, look at this color. That looks really different from the, the dry. Look at the dry, then look at that. It's really pink, fuchsia, magenta. Pretty. Yeah, like a lot of these shades, you see the dry looks really similar. But wow, look at that. Ooh, I am impressed with these purples. I wasn't sure when I was swatching them out with the dry pencil. I was like, okay, these all look pretty black to me. How many black pencils do we need here? Like this, let's see what this one does. I think this was like a, supposed to be a dark purple. There we go. <sighs> wow. And this is why you swatch things out, guys. Right? Nope, making a mess over here. I tried placing an even amount while I was swatching them, but I was also um, using different technique, like, you know, going straight across or circling with some because I wanted to see how the pencils also felt. And I would say they felt, some of them felt pretty soft. Some of them felt a little scratchy. but not like Crayola scratchy. Oh, that's a pretty purple too. Yeah, see, I just thought like all these colors looked so similar, you know, when you swatch out the dry part, but wow, I can really see. And even these, I know I was saying, oh, well, they're the same, but I can see the different tones now as it's drying a lot better. Oh, look at this indigo blue. This is a, such a pretty like royal blue. Wow, look how different from this, from that. I have got to find that water pen so that I can try that with these. I mean, this looks black to me. And then look at that, put that water on. I do like that they had them in order, the um, pencils laid out in order and the colors and the shades really well. I do appreciate that. I was a little disappointed to see that there was not a swatch card, you know, cardstock piece in there. I thought there was supposed to be. I swear somebody else said that there was. So I don't know if mine just didn't come with it. Not a big deal because I have these guys. A really pretty like midnight blue this 
makes me want to paint again. I haven't painted in a long time. I used to paint more often with acrylic paints. I have some of my art pieces, I think, listed in my Etsy shop if you guys wanted to look. much as some of the others. Maybe I just didn't have enough water on there. I'm I'm afraid of flooding it so I've been trying to just go really light on the water and you see I'm dabbing most of it off leaving very little water on here and I'm using very light pressure like that's the right word. to the greens and browns. This is such a pretty like light green, lime green. It's a really nice highlighting color. This one's really different looking too. I feel like that was very brown and it's dry and it's more yellow, like a, like a mustard yellow.
one's really pretty too. It's kind of a rust colored. It is much more fun activating these than just plain swatching them, I have to say. <laughs> I mean, technically I'm still swatching, but you guys know what I mean. Painting, it's like painting. Look at that, burgundy. Ooh, that's pretty. Alright, we're on the last swatch, last set of colors. These are the dark browns and the blacks. And a white, which we won't be able to see. And then I just went ahead and I took a few to mix them with the white because I just wanted to see what the difference was, if, the, if I could tell between the, what is this, the 1210 and the 2300. So the 2300 is white. 1210 is right there. I want to see if blended with the white how different that is to that. And obviously I couldn't fit the names um, of these colors on there. I just used the pencil number, which is kind of what I always look at anyway when I'm picking colors and such. But I tried to lay the pencils out in the tins while I was swatching so you guys could kind of see if you really wanted to know what the names of the colors were. I tried to leave it so that you could see the names on the pencils as I was swatching swatching them. I hope that helps. Like with watercolor pencil um, when you're in coloring books you want to be mindful of the surface that you're coloring on because obviously water warps the paper a little bit. understand is once these are dry that's it they are they're done you cannot activate them anymore like a watercolor pencil um, it's just it's there and then you will be able to uh, do other things over it to layer if you want to layer your regular pencil or more pen Think you can layer more color on there so let's say you lay down the first one activate it dries you can lay down the next color and it won't bleed together like a watercolor pencil will where i could see that could be useful for um, various shading and things lots to experiment with Interesting that this one doesn't want to move. See that? This one took a lot more, I feel like, to get it to flow and move around for some reason. I don't like that it's doing that to the paper. the white that you cannot even see here. <laughs> Alright, let's 
try these mixed guys and that's it then. So this was 2312 ten, so the white and this color right here, and there's definitely a difference. So that's just 1210 on its own, and that is with the white with it. And then this was um, 0400 and 0100, so that was like a red and a yellowish. Ooh, that's really pretty. Look at that. And that is it, my friends. All of the Derwent Ink Tense pencils have been swatched and activated with water. I do hope that you found this video informative and interesting. I know it was a long one, uh, so thanks for sticking through if you made it to the end. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and take a moment to hit that like button and consider subscribing as it really does help the channel to grow. And I so appreciate all you guys. And until we talk again, I'll be seeing y'all later. Bye.